So this is part of Cornwall Council's attempt to tackle the amount of people who are in unsuitable temporary and emergency accommodation, which is costing the council over £10 million a year. If we could own that accommodation through schemes such as these, it allows us to reduce the budgetary pressure, but also, most importantly, is give people a sense of security, privacy and a chance to help to rebuild their lives and get back into mainstream society. And this provides 18 units for local people to get the help get their lives back on track. Well, what we've also managed to do as well is we've regenerated the car park, we've put measures in uh, to, to reduce the amount of antisocial behaviour on here, the CCTV now. So not only have we provided more accommodation for, for people who find themselves in need of temporary emergency accommodation or move on accommodation, what it's also done as well, it, it's at the moment solved that perennial problem of unauthorised visitors to the actual site as well. We work as part of the partnership with Cornwall Council and Cornwall Housing to deliver a service to help people move on into independent living. I've just been chatting to a young lady who's from Newquay and she near enough burst into tears when she walked through the door. She couldn't believe the quality of it. But that client can then start looking to the future. Yes, we help them register with private landlords on the housing register, etc. Um, to sign up for volunteering, education and to actually get back to work. The facilities in the Solar House home are designed to make a self-contained living environment, a proper home. We wanted to create a situation for people who might otherwise have been in hostels or in shared accommodation where often they're sharing kitchens, they're sharing washing machines, they have all sorts of facilities and bathrooms as well. And we wanted to make sure you've just got all of that within your own private space. You can live a private life and figure out what the next stage for you is uh, without being under the pressure that often comes with temporary accommodation. I just think that we need a lot more of these types of schemes in and around Cornwall. They're uh, trailblazers.